And going against a Georgia Tech team that has a center at six foot nine and sends out three guards all below six foot five. There's Jordan Usher for three, and he hits it. Well, they haven't really gotten good shots, and I think that's the key. A lot of dribbling so far for Florida State. And, of course, you take the dribble and when you're attacking the basket, and Scotty Barnes attacks the basket as well as anybody on that court. But, Jerry, we have a total of nine points and nine turnovers in this game so far. Now three right on cue, much needed. Here's Alvarado, dangerous in transition, knocked away, though. Polite. And Florida State has another triple. A three, way too much on it, but tapped out. And an offensive rebound for the Seminoles. Over to Wyatt Wilkes, who knocks it down. And he has demonstrated that he can be a pretty good three-point shooter. And he's exactly the kind of guy you need. Somebody who just wants to come in and help and win ball games. Tough take inside from Khalid Moore. Florida State Jay, has five made field goals from five different players. Well, that's the depth that we're talking about. Went inside again with Moore. That time he comes up empty. Wilkes again from range, and that rattles in. Wyatt Wilkes with two threes early. He made five of six threes and just almost single-handedly stretched the Seminoles away from Notre Dame in that game. The Georgia Tech playing very fast to see Kyle Sturdivant take that coast-to-coast -coast for the bucket. Jordan Usher pull up, pop, and he hits it. But he plays with a lot of confidence. Into Osborne. Trying to work his way in on Usher. Throws something up and it goes down. <laughs> He's got a height advantage in there and he took advantage of it. Great give and go and Khalid Moore there to finish it underneath. Georgia Tech, they've liked to run when they can. When they can. They've been... Struggling against Florida State's set defense, Jordan Usher, he knocks down a three. Jordan Usher heating up his second triple, and he's up to eight points. Usher takes it right to the hole off the window and in. Moses right back on the floor. Zero points to his name tonight. Swung over to DeVoe, and he cashes it from the corner. <laughs> I don't think it even existed in 1970. <laughs> uh, Florida State, much needed three from Anthony Polite, his second of the game. Florida State has done a pretty good job getting the ball inside when Georgia Tech played man-to-man. -man. Ryan Wilkes tried to throw it across the court, tapped around, it actually worked out, bounces back to Wilkes, and he swishes the three. Nothing mini run by Florida State. Both teams shooting really well. Seminoles at 48%. Feed inside, an easy slam for Bolsha Koprovica. Moses Wright is still Bones. taking only one shot. And Walker becomes the ninth Seminole to score in this first half. It's not just that Leonard Hamilton plays a bunch of guys, he goes 12 deep. Wilkes steps in and makes it. Wyatt Wilkes is red hot. This is the best he's played all season, now up to 11 points. Well, Wilkes, as we said, he is a guy who is capable of getting very hot, and he has been hot here in the first half. A great pass, and DeVoe finishes it. The state size on the perimeter has made it difficult for the guards to pass it inside, and the Florida State size on the interior has made it difficult once the ball's gone in there. In 18 minutes a game, he's averaging over 10 points and five rebounds. Well, that's just an outstanding. Way. Moses Wright only 1.0 rebounds. He came into the night averaging over 22 points a game and nearly 10 rebounds. Feed inside, easy finish for Anthony Polite. 
Why can't he unlock a shot so far? But look at the job Kopravitz is doing on him on the outside. Kopravitz is doing exactly that kind of job on the inside. Wright gets an awful lot of offensive rebounds, and he hadn't had any tonight. Kopravitz is just out fought him for the ball. And Florida State cashes in on the other end. M.J. Walker gives the Seminoles their largest lead of the game. All five guys on the court at one time across the country, and Florida State stands the tallest at the top. Here's Scotty Barnes in what transition. Move. Scotty <laughs> Barnes, a human <laughs> highlight reel. Take a look, another look at this. Well, he just intercepts the pass, steps into lane, the behind the back dribble, and then carries himself to the basket. That is just a wonderful move by a man who's listed at six feet nine, 230 pounds. Here's Barnes again, great feed to Walker, fading away, rattles in and out, but perfect position for the follow finish underneath. A light on the drive, hustles his way in and it drops. Well, they have not made their threes, struggling three of 14 from deep, pounding it inside to right. Great feed, Alvarado at only six foot, sitting on the block for an easy layup. Osborne on the drive, had a step on right, couldn't get the finish though. Fed up ahead to Moore, to lead Moore, kick out DeVoe, wide open three, he's got it! Game looks a lot different, Jay, when the ball goes in the basket, doesn't it? It's that simple sometimes. Count it, plus the foul! And the senior from Brooklyn has gone into attack mode to bring the Yellow Jackets back within one. Florida State getting a big time bucket from Scotty Barnes as the shot clock sounded. Barnes rocks the rim. Though, let's take a look. And, uh, ball's got to be out of his hands. one of the first times in a few possessions that Florida State's been able to set their defense. Perfect follow flush. Moses Wright hammers it home. What you have to do is a big guy. His first rebound of the game ends in a big slam. Scotty Barnes on the answer, though. Comes up empty there. Nice pass. And it leads to three. MJ Walker, the senior, dials up a big time three. Animals got back quickly, and those were not uncontested layups. Tapped around, it falls to the seven footer, and Balsha Kabruvica puts it in to put Florida State up nine. Georgia Tech has missed seven in a row after that big run. Moses Wright trying to end that, and he does. Finally, a layup goes in. Here's Scotty Barnes, working on Moore. Has a step and uses it. Scotty Barnes has been an electric factory in this second half. Scotty Barnes, at the end of the shot clock, just puts it up. Jordan Usher delivers exactly what Georgia Tech needed, just a fast bucket in transition. His first basket of the second half. And again, this is a pretty good move by Scotty Barnes. Of the Seminoles, who last spring won their first ever ACC regular season title, starts this season in conference play with a 74-61 victory against Georgia Tech.